This is an activity that parents can do at home to help your child practice and reinforce knowing combinations of numbers. You can use any items found around the house, such as beans, coins, noodles, or anything else that you have readily available. In the second half of first grade, we discuss working numbers, which means that the number your child knows combinations with automaticity, not using their fingers or any other objects to manipulate or count. Remind your child that each number has a certain number of combinations before repeating the combinations over. The number 5 will have 6 combinations. The number 7 will have 8 combinations. So the number of combinations is one higher than the actual number. Start by asking your child their working number. I'll use the working number 5 as an example. Using the working number 5 means that the child can recall all of the combinations for numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 and is working to make all the combinations of 5 concrete without using their fingers, etc. Sometimes it's easier for a child to show the combinations in a certain organized order to keep track and not duplicate, while others it may be easier to make the combinations randomly and then check to see if all the combinations are there or if there are any repeated. So for 5, the first combination is 0 plus 5 equals 5. And you can show this with a lima bean representing the first number and pennies representing the second number. So there would be 0 lima beans and 5 pennies. which equals 5. Your child should also know and show the opposite, which is 5 plus 0 equals 5, using 5 lima beans and 0 pennies. So this would show 0 plus 5 equals 5, and 5 lima beans would show 5, the opposite, which is 5 plus 0 equals 5. Your child would continue to show the combinations, taking 1 away from the second number and adding it to the first number. So 0 would change to 1 and 5 would change to 4. So that would be 1 plus 4 equals 5. And this would be shown with 1 lime bean and 4 pennies. Then showing the opposite, which is 4 plus 1. 4 lima beans plus 1 penny. At this point, you could guide them to check to see how many combinations they have so far and to bring their attention that you can't do the combination 4 plus 1 equals 5 because they've already shown this combination before. So to continue, you would have two lima beans plus three pennies equals five and three lima beans plus two pennies equaling 5. This would also be a good point to show them that if you went further, the opposite, or the next one would be 3 plus 2, which is actually this combination. So at this point they would know that they have all six combinations. If it makes more sense for your child to create the combinations randomly, that's fine, as long as they can check to see if they have all of the combinations and they're not showing them twice. With even numbers, such as 6, it would have 7 combinations, because you would just count 3 plus 3 equals 6 just once. Remember to always start by asking your child their working number. So if your child gives you three numbers, for example, 4, 5, and 6, then 5 would be their working number. but they can continue working on combinations for four and extend the combinations to six.